alaikum. Today we will be telling the revelation of the Quran as you see here. Um, let's get started. Okay. One time when the Prophet went to the cave of hell to spend his Ramadan like he usually does because he likes to be in solitude which means he just likes to be alone. So he just liked to be alone. One day when he was in the cave, he heard a voice of some type of stranger. But it wasn't a stranger. It was Angel Jebrail. Uh, he told the Prophet to read. He said, he told the Prophet to read, okay? Then the angel Gabriel repeated, read. The prophet repeated that he didn't know how to read. Then the angel recited chapter nine, Sura chapter ninety six, Sura Al Alak. The prophet okay. So he recited chapter ninety six, Sura Al Alak, verse one to five. The prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam felt like the verses were written in from his heart and then started reading. But he was still scared and ran home to tell his wife Khadija Dadi Allah She told he told her to cover him as he said, Cover me, cover me, I am scared. Then she immediately then he com then she confront comforted him and said, By Allah, Allah will never disgrace you. You keep up the good relations you make, help help stressed people and give charity. When the Prophet ﷺ finally felt asleep, he, he fell asleep, he, she went to her cousin Waraka. He told her that if, if you are truthful, this must be the same angel which came to Musa salam and Isa salam. So he is a prophet prophet of Allah. The angel taught Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to do wudu and salah and then the prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught Khadija radiallahu anhu. So then it went on. First the prophet, uh, okay, okay, this story was inspired by good words. Okay, these are the extras. So, if you want to know the definitions of Radiallahu Anhu and Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, listen to this part. Radiallahu Anhu means the companions of the Prophet. And Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is meaning the last Prophet. Okay, so there were, there were three stages of uh, the memorization and all so there are three stages of the quran revelation so stage one when the prophet start prophet had started quran was not compiled into one book that means it was not written in a book as only a few people in makkah could read and write others could not so the prophet and some sahabas memorized the quran Okay, now stage two. During the caliphood of Prof, I mean, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, he started to make the Quran on leather and leaves because there was no paper back then. Uh, so why did he do, why did he do it? Because in the famous battle of Yamama, there a large number. Of sahabas who memorized the Quran were martyred or that means killed. Stage three during the caliphate of Usman radiallahu anhu there was an issue. What was the issue? The issue was they don't they they, they 
people mem just uh, the people the recitation res they when they recited all people's recitation was different so so Osman radiallahu anhu made a committee or group they make they to make sure the correct recitation was recited allah almighty took himself i mean like he took the responsibility of preserving the quran no one no one not even a king not a queen no one in this world can change a single thing of this quran so i only have one question as i was not completed the second i didn't know what to do okay so, so now manha will tell you some facts i'm going to tell you facts about ramadan and friday we learn these facts from um my like here 23 years of quran to study okay for extra smart people who love stories i'm going to test them so how many years was the quran revealed how many years did it take the for the entire quran to be completed write your answers in the comment comment section below so this is the end so now that we're ended we will say a dua which you should recite at the end of your classes it is subhanaka wa bihamdika la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to be telling you some facts about Ramadan. I mean Friday. First fact: You should always go to the masjid. But today the masjid, the masjid is closed. So what should you do? Make a mini masjid in your home. You can do it in the dining room. You can do it anywhere. But if you are a girl, do not do the jamaat. Only boys can. That's the Sunnah of the Prophet. So? Sunnah no, nahi hai. It's a it's a rule. It's a rule of the Prophet. Sorry. Yes. Tell your mom to make a calendar for Ramadan or make a calendar for Friday. Like, uh, take a piece of paper, then write, I will pray first. I will tell my mom to make a mini masjid. second i will watch tv a little bit some people call friday jumma assalamu alaikum now let's say the dua subhanaka wa bihamdika la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik bye bye